criminal cartels, narco-terrorists, transnational gangs like MS-13, and human traffickers are brazenly violating U.S. laws and terrorizing innocent communities. Women are tied up, they're bound, duct tape put around their faces, around their mouths, they're put in the backs of cars or vans or trucks. They make a right turn going very quickly. They go into the desert areas or whatever areas you can look at. They make a left or a right into the United States of America. It's never been like this before. So, let's go find out what the president's talking about. I came out here looking for the, uh, the southern border. Am I close to it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the Boo Hill of New Mexico is no joke. It's miles and miles of mountains, rocks, dirt, and bushes. Well, you, you guys seen any uh, vans turning in here with uh, women with their mouths and faces duct taped? And bound. <laughs> Nobody, yeah, huh? Like that. I mean, no. I mean, they would, they would, they would have made a sharp, a, a quick right turn in here or a quick left turn in here. Let me tell you. And this is the only place to buy duct tape around here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this no man's land doesn't stop desperate folks from trying to get into the U.S. We ask Customs and Border Patrol for numbers on illegal crossings here, but they told us they don't keep that info. There really isn't much to see around these parts. No walls, just barbed wire maintained by local ranchers. Well, welcome to the boot heel. This is the north-south border. Jeff is a local guide who's been helping cyclists and hikers navigate the trail for about six years. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a good time out here tonight. We decided to set up camp with him for a night at the southern border just to see what all this fuss is about. Even here, at the epicenter of the wall debate, there's disagreement over what to do about the so-called crisis. I'm in America right now, and you're in Mexico. Yes, sir. So this is the border. Yes, sir. We don't have a problem in the cheetah at all. Once in a while, a few times a year, somebody makes it into town. But that's about it. Do you think a wall here is necessary? No, absolutely not. For a place where people are scared, they show up when they hear reporters are in town. Local ranchers, Amanda and Gilbert Adame, they voted for Trump. Well, hello there. Hi. How you doing? Good. I've actually never been right here. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> How many times have you heard about or experienced someone being hurt, killed, or endangered as a result of immigrants crossing the border? more than the ten fingers that I've got in my hands. I have found a woman who was left out of a trafficking group who had the soles of her shoes were gone, just completely eaten, took her back down to the house and called the Border Patrol. We hope you don't come across a bunch. Yeah. You know, uh, but it is happening. And you think a wall will stop that? It'll help. Some type of barrier. Some people would say that you build a wall, they just get a ladder and climb over it. Sure, Very true. and they'll, they'll dig under. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only thing we need out here. Mm -hmm. You have to remember, this is security. So it's not just a matter of, even if they don't put a wall here, at least maybe we can get more boots on the ground, we can have better security by the Border Patrol being able to drive back and forth. So you guys are basically advocating for... Resources. Re yeah. yeah, resources. Security. For security. And people are security. calling that a wall, and a lot of times that's what people are calling a wall. I think people are calling it a wall is because the president, right. his key campaign for two years, talking about right. a wall. That was a big promise. We and still enjoy the thought of a wall. We still... You enjoy the thought. Oh, I Yeah, do. absolutely. Yeah. I've said it one of two ways. <laughs> you know, a wall isn't something you just put up and then walk away. You're still going to need manpower. Firewood. I've talked to some people that are pretty much pro-wall, but they seem to be open to an alternative like 
more resources. You know, I don't, I, I think if some of the professionals, you know, in Donald Trump's administration were to come down here and actually see the reality of this, they might, might come up with a different plan. After a whole night along the dangerous southern border, the only thing we got a good look at was a beautiful night sky. Jeff says the whole debate has already taken its toll. It's given us a, a bad image, you know, that we're being overrun, we should be afraid. Um, and it's not, to me, I don't think it's true. I think uh, the Border Patrol are doing a very, very good job. And obviously we need more wall in the urban areas, but not out here.